What's up guys, it's Max Will back with my first ever Clash of Clans troop guide and today it's all about the baby dragon. So as you can see I've been loading up my camps already, so let's go ahead and talk about the troop. So the baby dragon first unlocks at Town Hall 9 and currently it sees a lot of use at all three Town Hall levels, that is Town Hall level 9, 10 and 11 inside of the game. It's a very versatile troop, we are gonna get into that a little bit later, but first let's check out his stats at level 4. So uh, it, does, it does quite a nice amount of damage with 105 damage per second, has quite a few hit points as well, so it's relatively tanky, not as tanky as a big dragon, but still relatively tanky. Um, yeah, the training cost is relatively expensive, so you might not want to use mass baby dragon uh, armies for farming, and the training time at 1 minute and 30 seconds is fairly decent. Um, taking a look at its description, it has an enraged bonus damage of uh, times 2, the movement speed is fairly fast as well, so um, that means um, that an enraged bonus, the baby dragon gets an enraged bonus when it is not near any other um, air unit. So it can target ground and air, but uh, you should not couple the baby dragon uh, with other air units if you want to get the enraged bonus, because then it does double damage. We are going to take a look at the enraged bonus right now. Alright guys, so I'm going to place one baby dragon right here, and as you can see, um, there is uh, this uh, rage symbol uh, popping up uh, next to him, so um, now being on its own it's enraged. So if I place another baby dragon next to it, two air units, they are not going to rage. The first one is going to die now really quick uh, to that archer tower, and then once that one is dead you're going to see that the other baby dragon is going to get enraged again because it's going to be on its own. So right now, as you can see, it's uh, getting bigger and bigger and stronger again. So um, being enraged when they are alone, that's the first important um, notice that you uh, will need to take for baby dragons because um, a lot of the times I see baby dragons in defensive clan castles with, with um, other air troops and that doesn't make very much sense because the baby dragon is uh, actually, uh, in, if you are going to bring him in small numbers and you cannot bring a big number in a defensive clan castle, the baby dragon is going to be stronger on its own. So if you are going to be using the baby dragon in a defensive clan castle, you might want to couple him with ground troops, like in this case two Valkyries and the wizard. This is a standard baby dragon clan castle combination that has seen a lot of success for us on defense. For a defensive clan castle you can also couple the baby dragon with mass goblins or a witch into valkyrie. So much for defense, let's check out the baby dragon on offense. There is three ways you can use the baby dragon on offense. The first one and the most easy one is for funneling. So as you can see in this case the archer queen with healers is doing work at the bottom right there and now the baby dragon is coming in right here. This is an area where there's not a lot of air targeting defense, there's only that one archer tower and since the baby dragon has quite a few hit points it can survive quite a bit of time against the archer tower and take out several valuable buildings that would otherwise have to be funneled in another fashion and that would certainly be more expensive than for 10 troop space which the baby dragon costs. Oftentimes we even see the baby dragon deployed as the first unit on the battlefield to get some initial funneling started, so in this case the baby dragon is chewing down that gold storage within seconds. The gold storage has a lot of HP and otherwise it would take very long to take it out. So if there is an area that is not defended by an air defense, uh, then you can certainly use the baby dragon for funneling and it's very powerful doing that. Another way to use the baby dragon is as the main part of an army composition. So in this case we have a queen charge baby dragon attack. That means is that the goal of this attack is to take out all the air defenses uh, with the queen in this case and then to clear the rest of the base with the baby dragons. Baby dragons are really weak against air defenses and teslas and also against expos that are set to air. So this is the goal with the queen to get all of that out of the way. As you can see a king and a couple of bowlers are helping out this attack as well. We are going to speed through the first part of this uh, until the point where the baby dragons come in. You can also do this with the golem and bolas, uh, kind of per serves, serves the same purpose, it just always depends on the base if a queen with healers is better or bolas uh, with uh, golems are better, it really do just depends. So right now you can see the baby dragons are about to be deployed, um, a lot of air defense has already been taken out of the base and now you can just uh, sprinkle in those baby dragons um, and just uh, snipe off defenses, snipe off buildings that could otherwise harm the rest of your troops. So in this case the, the base is uh, pretty much dead and as you can see baby dragons are now coming in right here and just taking apart uh, the last few buildings. So there's nothing really that uh, the remaining part of the base can do against it because it has been so uh, uh, crippled against air troops that it's, uh, really there's no 
um, uh, defense left against the baby dragon. So um, in this case also the kill squad part of this attack was so strong that uh, he didn't even need to deploy seven of his baby dragons so it's definitely an overkill on this one. But yeah, baby dragons can be really powerful when coupled with a strong kill squad that can take out almost the entire air defense of a base. So, as we talked about, you can use the baby dragon in a surgical fashion to start a funnel or just to kill a certain part of a base. Like for example, if, uh, let's say, this corner over here, um, there is no, no big air defense right here. Of course, there is the queen, but there is no, uh, as you can see, this air defense right here is far enough away. So, um, we can use baby dragons right here in a surgical fashion to take out those buildings. They can also take out that archer tower, take out the archer queen. You just have to have uh, enough space between the baby dragons. Uh, you can see those are too close together now, so they are not going to rage. Uh, as soon as this baby dragon dies right here, I'm going to place another one right there. And as you can see, the baby dragons have been able to take out this entire section of the base. So this is the way that you can use them surgically. But sometimes it can also be beneficial to use baby dragons as a group. Um, then you are going to have to use uh, a few more of those on one spot. So. Uh, let's go up here and use a bunch of baby dragons together right here. Not too many, we don't want to um, overstress the issue. So as you can see they are not taking any damage right now, except that one archer tower. Once they get a bit closer to those air defenses, I'm going to use a rage spell on them. So then they can still be a pretty viable uh, unit uh, as well as when they are bunched together, not having the rage bonus. But with a rage spell they can still get through buildings a little bit quicker. So um, you often see uh, rage spells on groups of baby dragons used uh, on Town Hall 10 attacks. Uh, because you have to get through Inferno Towers or something like that. Uh, then they can still do work. As you can see the baby dragons survived quite long, although they were shot on by two air defenses right here and the air sweeper. So... Uh, those are pretty much the three ways to use baby dragons for funneling purposes on their own um, ju just to surgically kill a section of the base like for example maybe I could drop in one baby dragon here right now to take out that archer tower it's probably gonna be a little bit tough because of the air defense in the sweeper but as you can see I just sprinkled in one baby dragon right there and it was able to take out a part of the base and the third way as we talked about is to use them in a group bunch together and then most of the time also with a rage spell just so that they can uh, get through the buildings a little bit quicker. Um, yeah. So that's it for the baby dragon dynamics and for how to use them offensively. The troop space or housing space of a baby dragon is 10. So it's a pretty expensive troop. As you can see I can only use um, 24 baby dragons in my current army and the army is already full. So if you use them for funneling purposes you don't want to bring too many baby dragons. Sometimes uh, even one minion can uh, do the purpose of a baby dragon if there is an exposed building. Sometimes also uh, an archer or two can uh, serve the purpose, purpose of a baby dragon and sometimes it's better to bring a giant in front to tank and the wizard behind to do damage can also serve the same purpose of a baby dragon for funneling and they are actually one less housing space at nine housing space. So much for the serious part guys. Um, as you can see I have queued up a mass baby dragon attack and we are going to take this one to multiplayer right now and try to two star a town hall 11 with that. I don't know how we are going to fare, but um, yeah, this is my ideal mass baby dragon army, as I told about, talked about a little bit earlier. Um, I feel like some of the people who have made uh, videos about baby dragons have only been doing this uh, spam to sort of make a funny video, but uh, I kind of want to use them with sense a little bit, and uh, we are going to head to multiplayer, and I'm going to see if I can find a battle for you guys. Alright guys, I think we should have a pretty good chance against this base. Um, this has uh, expo set to ground in the middle. The air defenses are fairly spread out and also um, I set the Grand Warden to air. So let's, uh, although this is sort of a troll attack, let's uh, use what we just learned and start off creating a funnel with the baby dragons spread far apart. Um, hopefully I'm going to be able to take out that archer tower right there. Yes, the archer tower is going to go down. So you can see how powerful those baby dragons are. A lonely baby dragon was able to take out that archer tower right there. So. I'm just going to be very patient right here with the fun and just use one baby dragon at a time. They are gonna uh, die out fairly soon but that's okay because I have plenty of them obviously so I'm just gonna use one more and one more and one more and hopefully create a path straight towards the middle of this base right here. Actually let's use, use a couple more right here, not too many but uh, a couple more just so that we can maybe get those buildings down a little bit quicker right there so yeah. I think the funnel is properly created right now, so at this point we can uh, then release all the rest of the baby dragons through the top right here. Gonna send the Grand Warden in with that as well, and 
um, our clan castle balloon. Then we are gonna use the earthquake spell in the middle to weaken up all those buildings. First rage spell is gonna be used, we are gonna freeze the eagle, because the eagle does a lot of damage against baby dragons, so we are just gonna have to keep him out of this battle for now. Um, and we are gonna use the, the another ra another freeze spell right there, another rage spell. All the baby dragons inside the core, they should hopefully get the town hall out of the way right there. Looking pretty good. And then we are just gonna use our heroes on the side right here to pick up some more percentage points. So you actually use the Grand Warden ability, I completely forgot about that. Um, but it's gonna keep the baby dragons alive for a little bit longer. Queen is being targeted and we don't want that. So it's use the ability right here and then the king is gonna uh, venture up in front. So that's looking good. And yeah, looks like the baby dragons are actually taking care of their Dark Elixir storage as well, which is nice. The Queen just got another air defense out of the way. The Grand Warden is still floating around like an idiot, doing a little bit of work. Let's use the King ability to get through a couple more buildings. And yeah, there were no Clan Castle troops defensively, so we could not use the Poison spell right here. But uh, take a look at this, we can almost get the full... Um, league bonus in uh, Champions League where I am right now, 65% Expo is gonna go down, Wizard Tower gonna go down, 67% is gonna be our final tally right here, so yeah, pretty cool, and as you can see, um, trolling around with the Baby Dragon, it's a bit more gold to upgrade my um, defensive buildings, so yeah, Baby Dragons are a pretty cool troop, and the star bonus as well, pra Baby Dragons are a pretty cool troop guys, if you haven't used them yet, uh, this guide might help you, you definitely want to try them out, so yeah, I hope I could help you with this, and until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.